Well, I'm just thankful to be here on my property with my uh, Mandarin Orchard, and I'm still alive after that horrific fire. So uh, kudos to those uh, first responders for helping us out. Well, thanks for everything you do, too. Let's see some of those oranges. Yeah, here we go. All right. That's right from your orchard? Right from my orchard. All right. It's Tuesday, the 20th of November, and I'm just piecing together Dean Strait's uh, interview from the other day. He's the nurse from Feather River Hospital that evacuated the hospital and safely got out of the fire in paradise. He also gave me a bunch of raw data footage from, uh, I believe it was Saturday, two, Thursday, two or three days after the fire. Dean returned to paradise to get a bunch of records out of the hospital, much of which survived. So I'm going to break this up into two parts. I think I'm going to show you this raw footage from Dean first, just to give you an idea of the aftermath of the of the complete burn down of the town of Paradise, and then uh, then I'll show you this uh, 45 minute 45 minute interview. It's going to be the fastest 45 minutes you've ever seen on YouTube. So as of tonight, Tuesday, 20 November, we're the uh, total fire size is up to about 152,000 acres. That includes some burnout operations. The aerial attack is over with. The lines of retardant are in place and the fire lines are being placed or just about finished. And we're expecting rain tomorrow and heavy rain on Friday. They're now reporting a total of 17,000 structures destroyed. The missing list is down below 1,000, somewhere in the 7 800 range and the number of fatalities are still below 100 but somehow those two numbers are going to get resolved i'm afraid some of these families are simply not going to get closure as folks are running out of time before these rains hit to find out what happened to everybody so let's take a look at this footage from dean as he drives through town a couple days after the fire so here we're looking at the location of your hospital on the map, and it's right, right on the, that'd be the east edge of town, right on the edge of the canyon. Canyon, right. Of the West Branch, so it's coming, smoking right up out of that canyon, right at right. you. And that, uh, and that fire jumped over that canyon and landed on the ridge. It did not go down the canyon and come up. Right. It skipped the canyon and landed. With the hot embers. With the hot wind embers. Wind-blown hot wind embers. Wind-blown hot embers, and just lit this whole... Uh, area on fire all at once mm -hmm. and that's why we were engulfed in flames within an hour yep yep so you're located right about over here right paradise and here's uh, the canyon. canyon and here's the yep. concow reservoir area right. and, and this is that whole area of light flashy fuels we we're talking about right. that's let's right. turn on that satellite view and maybe we can see what we're talking about a little better yeah you can see that this area had been is fairly well cleared of timber but but is instead replaced by light flashy fuels and does not have a fire break right this this is the this was the burning area it burned right through here real quick so this part of pence and this part of pearson just got nailed so you you, you come out of the parking lot you hang a left south on pence, pence and, and then, then, then you make a decision, decision right here do i turn and, and go right on to pearson into an inferno, which yeah. they didn't know because it didn't start until you got down here. And that was a big inferno right in that canyon, canyon area right there. In this there. canyon mm -hmm. and coming up the hill, there were so many cars that you'll see in my video that are alongside the road there. That's where all the burned That's cars are. That's where all the burned cars. And this is where people started abandoning their cars right in here at Cherry Lane. Okay. And they ran all the way out here to Clark Road. Because they're trying to get over here to 191, aren't they? They're trying to get to 191 Clark right Road. There. So, right there there so they run that whole distance of pierce pearson road from uh from cherry uh coming out of that canyon yeah. all the way over to uh where rabo bank is there and uh, which survived by the way and so did the ace hardware there and so did uh taco bell but the, the gas the black station, bear diner the black bear that, diner gone. is yeah. gone the That's gas that famous station sign gone. is right welcome right. to paradise right. yeah. yeah paradise mm -hmm. right yeah and then folks are trying to get on this 191 and leave town. Leave town. Some people continued to run. Actually, I know of two people that ran all the uh, way to Sky, uh, all the to way to Sky, Skyway, Skyway, which from is from right Cherry Road all the way through, they, running on foot. On foot. Uh, they told me. Uh, two of them told me they saw the police at 
at the intersection of 191 and motioned them. They ignored him and just kept running. We're not stopping. No, <laughs> man, we're out of here. We're out of here. They huh. kept running. Wow. So. Which one is her car? I don't know. Will those cars survive? One of those has got to be it. She'll recognize it. This was the worst of it. Now, right between here, downhill and back up, this is where my friend had to run through the firestorm. He's the one that had the worst smoke inhalation, too. Of course, he was running with no air. There's the mirrors. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this was the worst, this hill here. We go down a valley and come back up, and then we come to Pence Road. Well, whatever whatever her color of her car was, it's all the same color, it's all the same color now. Oh my goodness, that looks like her car. Yep. Okay. 5936. Here's the IT building completely demolished. Oh, they're putting fencing around the hospital. Sweet. All right. Imaging. Finance survived. Main entrance survived. Dr. Anderson's complex. One building survived in the complex. Vehicles survived. Okay, good. This is a right turn off of Pence onto Peach Drive and the intersection of Canyon View with the west branch of the Feather River just below. That's my office. Just in front of us right here. Right there. Big Canyon. Wow. Oh, my desk is gone. <laughs> Yeah, all that work I was going to do, uh, it just got done. <laughs> Unbelievable. They're working on that tower, yeah. repairing that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yep, volunteer building gone. All these gone. Marketing. Yeah. Oh, and then, okay. And then the car's parked in the lot, still okay. This is the Feather River Canyon Retirement Center, which survived. The west branch of the Feather River Canyon is just off to the right. Now Dean's going to turn around, get his records at the hospital, and then retrace his steps back out of town with his escort vehicle. Right, yeah, yeah. Today they're a little more edgy. Oh, there's a whole subdivision back there that survived. Wow. Oh man, there is my office from the worst view. But the trees above are fine. Look at this. The trees are all green up there. The woodpeckers will be happy because that's their tree right there. Dean's office is right on the edge of the canyon, overlooking the canyon here at the intersection of Canyon Way and Peach Road. Regarding those trees, remember this was a fast moving, wind driven ground fire. The fire simply blew through here too fast to become a crowning fire. The middle building is there. Oh, shocker. The middle building is standing. I was told it went up in flames, so yeah. yeah. It is standing, folks. The middle building is there. I have proof. Unbelievable. Look at all the cars in the parking lot. 
that white truck I parked right behind him over there and that's where I was gonna leave my car it would have been fine peach house gone totally gone as they put up the fence to protect it and rightfully so because there's a lot of money up here I'm glad they're doing that Look at all these shrubs that caught on fire. That's what started burning. That's what I drove right by these burning shrubs trying to get out and I couldn't, that was just blocked. So I backed up. There's Sally's Road. Even this tree didn't burn, and it's in the middle of the road. And when I drove through here, it was just solid fire. It's amazing. Yeah. Unbelievable. Some of these cars survived. I can't believe that church survived. So we're, yeah, we're down to, I think, a uh, couple. Another a couple that was missing. Okay. So we, like, we, we found them. We, we wow. We're trying to get a track on them. And right, because they the, said to call the Red Cross and list yourself so that you could be yeah, so on we, them. We found, we found them. We went to one of the evac centers and gave them the list. And they said, well, they checked in and checked back out. And then we tracked them down there. And uh, uh, they're in Gridley. On another residence, so we're down to six now. Fortunately, uh, three of the six were in cottages. Uh, right. That's the. the that's a big. The police uh, went out and actually the, the sheriff went out and uh, cleared those for us. So I, I'm, I'm guessing they're probably better at clearing than we are. Well, I'm pretty sure my friend's car is one of these. I just don't know which one. Trying to get horses. To haul whatever animals we find. Yeah. That red truck must have just pulled in there. That's recent. But that Beamer, no, that no. car was left. Yeah. The Ford survived, shocker, and did not melt. Wow. That's just unbelievable. Smoke still rising. That car partially survived. Look at pine needles fell in it. Unbelievable. Still smoldering. That telephone pole is. Nazarene church burned down. Or no, Church of Christ, okay. Pine tree perfectly fine. We 
just bent, went by a reporter I saw in the news. <laughs> He's taking us out all the way, actually. Yeah, changed his mind. I gotta call him. Yeah. I must be. I'm sure. I think. Oh yeah. That's where people in and out. That's the Mormon Church there. How did the Adventist Church do? Uh it burned down. It didn't burn down. Yeah. Less was concerned. Less uh, our bus driver uh, had an apartment right around the corner. Uh, it might have survived because the school survived. Dean's footage helps some of you view that have not been allowed to return to see what's going on in town. Now that we got the lay of the land, we'll be able to better understand Dean's interview. I'll have that up soon. See you here. I'm still kicking, so I'm thankful that I made it out of that fire alive, believe me. <laughs>